Hi, this is Thomas with Believe in the Run. This is Robbie with Believe in the Run. And we're getting to get the adios out of here. Uh, goodbye, adios. I guess it's not an adios, it's, it's just an Addy Zero. But it does signify a branch of Adidas performance shoes, and those are the pinnacle shoes, the tip of the spear, racing, running shoes from Adidas. Yep, they're fast and lightweight segment. Stay tuned <laughs> to find out what's in the Bombas bag. Yeah, make your guesses. I have no idea what it is. Yeah, but we'll reveal what's in this bag mm -hmm. at the end of Hopefully it's street video. legal. It is street legal. Okay. Speaking of street legal, this is a shoe that's street legal. We have reviewed ones that aren't like the Primex, but this is the uh, SL, Adi Zero SL. You know what's crazy about this? She says street legal, but it's got more stack than you'd think. This is 35 millimeters back here. It is, man. We're giving away the spoilers there. What does SL stand for, Thomas? Super light. Is eh. it super light? Eh. Okay. <laughs> for my size 10 and a half, it's 9.65 you know, ounces or 274 yeah. grams which is light for a daily trainer. This really is aimed at that person that's gonna use this shoe for everything. When we were talking with Adidas at the running event, they were telling us about this shoe and basically mm -hmm. saying, hey, we want to take the stuff that we've learned in the Premier shoe line and bring it down to an affordable price point for that high school runner, for that other runner that's on a budget, that they get all of our technologies in a shoe that's affordable and can do a lot of what you need. So the upper on this is kind of like an engineered mesh. This shoe, yeah, the upper, what do you think? It looks, it seems pretty comfortable. It has that stealth look of a running shoe. So like what I love about Adidas shoes in general, they have that silhouette that you want to see in a running shoe. It's like a dart, it's like pointy yeah. with the sculpted, it's just yeah. beautiful. And this shoe does that. Where I am noticing where maybe they save some money is on some of the materials and stuff. It doesn't have the same luxurious feel as some of the other Adios it's or, like or a, Adi Zero line. Kind of like that traditional upper you might find on a DSW. Shoe. Yeah, at $120, it's gonna be right there with your basic shoes like the Pegasus and some mm -hmm. other shoes from other brands. It does have this little thing though, which do you ever flip that up? Pull on my shoe. It's like popping your, you know, it's just enough. Not while running, like to pop your collar? No, because I feel the wind drag, it oh. starts to make my heel sink in really? and I need to pop it back so I get back up to full speed. That's for all the preppy runners out there. Pop yeah. it. Oh, I was thinking it was like a spoiler on a Toyota. You have a basic tongue here and there's nothing flashy about it. Um, there, it's not gusseted. You have the thin laces that uh, I feel like come on all the Adidas shoes, which can sometimes can be a pain getting locked down, but once they're tied, they stay tied. It has some nice features as far as puckering. I, even though I have a more narrow foot when I cinch it up, this doesn't pucker too much. Overall, the fit of the upper is nice. It works. Getting out on the roads, what's the feel like? Well, you got a lot of light strike and people in the past haven't loved light strike. Including us but this feels a little softer than the last shoes that we've had with Light Strike. Okay. Right underneath the, what they said was your fat pad, mm. which I call like the palm of my foot, like where your big toes are here and the rest of your foot's here. And there's that area right here. Yeah. I guess that's your fat pad. It's got a puck of Light Strike Pro. Okay. Which is interesting because on the outsole or on the midsole on the outside, it says Light Strike Pro, which to the unsuspecting person, you may think, I know, which you may think, the oh, whole thing. This was Light Strike Pro. And then you see on the side, the inconspicuous side, yeah. the Light Strike. But it's a giant Light Strike. <laughs> and this is where the Light Strike Pro is, right through there. You can see it on the bottom here. It's like a puck right here that just gives you a little bit of bounce. You know what it reminds me of, Robbie? When I mentioned the Pegasus I was earlier? gonna say, is, is the Pegasus? It's like yeah. having that airbag there because you really do get a nice toe off feeling. So you land and your that part of your foot just kind of sinks in just a little bit, has a little bounce. It gives the shoe a really good character. And I have to say the ride, while it may be less expensive to do it this way and it may not be as exciting as a big chunk of Light Strike Pro, it works and I actually found it to be a nicer ride than the Adios. And we'll get to more comparisons mm. between these two in a little bit. This has a less harsh feel, it has a little more cush. With the Light Strike, it is very stable in the back. It's a, almost a firm heel coming through with a softer, more flexible. You can kind of see it 
It's not too hard to flex. You've got lots of rubber out here. It's not continental rubber. No. I didn't notice that. I didn't run on it when it was like super slick outside, but overall the traction felt really well. And that's what the shoe was. I felt like it does everything well enough that it is a pretty good deal at the 120 entry price to have a shoe that can do most of your running. Like I could do daily training in this. You could race in this. Okay. It does, it's another one I wanna put that label on that's that Swiss Army knife of running. You can do so much in this shoe for an entry level price. We should probably mention that this video is sponsored by Bomba Socks. I like it, I like so it. So if when you buy a pair of socks, which you can do by getting a 20% discount using code BITR20 for your first purchase, when you buy a pair, they give a pair, and uh, you can feel good about that. And they're super comfortable and feel good and will pair nicely with this shoe. As a matter of fact, you might be seeing a video right now of me stepping around in this shoe with the socks yeah. on. We didn't mention the full stack of the shoe, which is uh, 35 in the heel and 26 and a half in the forefoot for an eight and a half millimeter drop. This is a really nice daily trainer for someone who likes something, maybe a little bit more on the firmer side, but it's not too firm with so, that little fat pad bounce. Okay, so let's do the difference real quick between the Audios and the and this shoe. And okay. I guess we didn't really talk about the Boston. I don't know if it needs mentioning. But. It doesn't need but me mention because one, the current 10 and 11, we don't love. We're looking forward to seeing what's going to happen with the 12. We've already seen it. We haven't had it on foot to feel the difference. But if there's any indication this light strike's getting a little softer and the cushioning of the Light Strike Pro feels a little bouncier in here, especially when you compare it to one of the premium Adi Zero Adios shoes here. Finer meshes, finer detailings, some of the overlays, just the detail. You've got the gusseted tongue. Just overall, this is a very intricate upper with underlays, overlays, continental rubber. It also has this torsion bar on the bottom. So the torsion bars in here act somewhat like a plate. You've got the same thing, Light Strike back here. You do have the Light Strike Pro underneath the palm of your foot, and you can see it even extends to the bottom here. The ride on this though feels a lot more race ready. It's a lot harsher than in this shoe. This shoe, definitely easier for those daily miles. Matter of fact, when people wanted the Boston and stuff like that, this has that traditional feel that the original, like all the way up to Boston 9, kind of has, where it's a no-nonsense running shoe, nothing too crazy. When you put this on, you kind of want to go fast. It feels more like a racing flat. So what are you giving this shoe? I'm definitely giving this shoe a green, and it's on a couple different reasons. I'm going to give it for value. I think at 120. I'm going to pretend Brandon's throwing words up here. Go right. ahead. For value. Okay. It's gonna be really good. It can handle a lot of different running. Feels good on the foot. The fit is right. The upper fits right. This is a little softer, but still stable. You got the nice cushioning under the fat pads. Did I say fat pads? Yeah. yeah. The rubber, even though it's not continental rubber, I felt like it gripped really well. I just feel like this is the shoe for the person that's like, I like running. I'm not ready to invest my whole paycheck into it. Mm -hmm. And I just want something that I can count on that if I show up on race day for my 5K, for my 10K, even a half, I'm gonna feel fast, I'm gonna feel good, All right. and the shoe's gonna be comfortable on my foot. This nice. is the shoe. Yeah, so get in at your entry oh, level, we need to check, zero. We need to peep the bag. And then, yeah, let's check the bag. All right, so I'm thinking this is something like a recovery tool. Um, maybe like a... Reach in and whip okay. it out. <laughs> That's not a recovery tool. What is I it? I guess it could be. Oh. Do we actually use this for anything? It's a finish line tape. Oh. Turn it the other way. Have we ever used this? Not yet. <laughs> Turn it the other way. We have things that... Oh, believe in the run. So if you're finishing Wait. this way, you finish believe in the run. I matched this perfectly. Yeah. yeah. And faster if you finish bastard. this way, you're a faster bastard. Cool. So. So maybe we'll have a race someday that you can run through that. Yeah. All right. All right, so uh, that's it, right? Yeah, make sure you follow us on all our social channels, uh, listen to our podcasts, The Drop, and Fuel for the Soul. And um, Get oh, your discount on, the B -I on Bomba Socks with BITR20. And sign up for Winter Grid if you haven't yet. Yeah. Because that's the way to do things. Skadoosh. Right. You know when you get something stuck in your 
the back tooth mm -hmm. in between the tooth and the gum, mm. and I can't get it out. Oh, that's gonna drive you nuts. I know, I'm sitting here the whole time. You know video. what you need? You need one of those uh, toothpick things with the floss on it. I do, I do, but I do, but I don't have them here at the office. Uh. But so I'm gonna be doing <laughs> this. The whole time? The whole time. So All right, well, don't worry about that with Robbie. All right. Well, I don't believe that the elves have like a constituency that they can go and say, hey, <laughs> yeah. we're going to get just working mad. all day making cookies. Yeah, you're busy it. making cookies in a tree. Try not, to, time. try not to burn that tree down <laughs> exactly. either. Yeah. Dumb, dumb. 